My name is Gordon Bowen from JTEC and today I'm going to tell you about disc brake components on this Ford F250 7.3 two-wheel drive. And right here up front you have your rotor. This is what your brake pads clamp around to stop the vehicle whenever the brakes are applied. And right here you got your whole uh, brake caliper and the brake caliper holds two pistons back here it's kind of hard to see it holds two pistons back here which when the brakes are applied the pistons squeeze in and the brake pads are clamped on this rotor which stops the vehicle and then up here you have your brake lines which run to the back of the caliper right here and the brake lines run up to the master cylinder and your master cylinder is up here up under the hood but the truck's up in the air so I can't show you and the master cylinder converts the pressure from the brake pedal to the brake calipers and when it gets converted to the brake calipers the pistons squeeze in and clamp around the rotor to stop the vehicle and then over here you have your bleeder valve right here and you use the bleeder valve to bleed your brakes and you have air in your lines or you're just redoing the brakes period and up front you do not have a parking brake cable but in the rear it's different you have parking brake cables on both sides in the rear and it's just like up front you have your bleeder valve brake hose lines rotor caliper and you have your pads inside the caliper and the pads squeeze around the rotor to stop the vehicle and you have these little these little metal brackets in here which help hold the brake pads in and then these dust boots right here they go over your slide pins and the dust boots keep dirt dust anything from preventing your slide pins from catching up on you and your slide pins are what guide your brake pads left and right whenever the brakes are applied. And that is disc brake components.